you guys. It is uh, Wednesday morning and I'm sitting in the parking garage. As usual, John has, he always thinks of something last minute. Like, I'm not taking very much stuff. I'm not taking very much stuff. I don't need to pack until, you know, tonight. And, and, <laughs> and then all morning he's like, what about this? What about this? So he did have one really good idea though this morning and that was to get out. We have these um, motion sick patches and we've, we have them because, sorry about the weird light, it's just very dark in this parking garage, so I turned the car light on. For when we go on cruises, we have these things, and you buy a packet of it, you get a prescription for it, and, and then you put this little sticker thing behind your ear, and it you leave it on for 72 hours, and it keeps you from getting motion sick. Well, I thought this was a great idea, not because we need it for a plane, because it's not that kind of motion, but... Um, my brother's taken us out on his boat and so I thought that was a really good idea to bring that so anyway but he's he's gone gone back to the apartment to get this cushion for his butt so he doesn't have tailbone issues <laughs> okay so we're gonna be heading to the airport and I will film the tiny little airport I've, I've shown you guys this before but it is a teeny teeny tiny airport so this is the tiny little airplane we're going on. I'm going to show you the airport. There's one end of it. And that's it. That's the whole airport. So anyway, that's the little plane we're going on. This one just takes us to Phoenix. Okay, we are getting ready to board, although we're in group six. Um, but we got some breakfast. That was a bonus. Uh, and it's going to be a four hour flight. Hopefully, it'll just be uneventful. here and it's kind of windy and cold um, it's, I don't know if you can see there's the water some boats we're going over to this place Welcome called the here. saltwater cafe and uh, it's, it smells really good so uh, our flight everything was great we actually even got into Tampa 25 minutes ahead of time and then we went over to my brother and sister-in-law's house and just kind of were chatting for a while until we got hungry and so yeah, so this is going to be the first of many good Florida meals and really good time just to, you know, spend with my brother and my family. Hey guys. Well, it's our next day here. Um, windy and as my brother said as I was walking outside, he said it's chilly, but you know, it's way warmer than where um, I'm from. So um, anyway, this is what their backyard looks out to. And um, have a boat here I'll show you in a minute but yeah it is a like a little cold front and apparently it's only supposed to get up to maybe 60 today uh, I think yesterday it said it was gonna be 59 and then it's supposed to go up in the upper 60s tomorrow and Saturday and st Sunday is supposed to be in the low 70s so that should be pretty nice but let me give you a let me give you a view here so so pretty and I'm out on the dock right now and this is their their boat is kind of tethered here but um beautiful but but it is pretty windy I mean really lovely we just finished having breakfast and we're just sort of hanging out and chatting and my niece and her husband are coming over tonight for dinner so it'll be fun fun to see them okay you guys so this morning when I took a shower I put this um uh John Frieda anti frizz serum hair serum whatever in my hair it's got silicone in it and then i blow dried it and after that i used a flat iron to straighten it out well we're going to be going outside and of course it's humid here and so it'll be interesting to see what will happen i'm pretty sure it won't stay straight like this it'll probably curl some but because i used that serum it should not frizz it will probably curl a little maybe a lot but it shouldn't frizz so I will show you later today to let you know if this 
goes according to plan. So we're in a sponge store now. These are actual like little sponges from the sea. These are this is fifty dollars because this thing is gigantic. Can you believe this? So they have these huge ones. Look, this whole store is sponges. Look at this sucker. That one's four hundred dollars for that giant sponge. Then they have, you know, smaller ones too that you can get. I'll probably buy something. I just did not know that the sponge animal was would get to be that big. It's just absolutely crazy. So this is the most expert of authentic Greek cuisine. We just ate there with that Greek salad and it was really yummy. There's only, I mean, every store had sponges like that, so I passed it. There's a place on there that they have a lot of sponge boats. There are all of those sponges on the ground. Well, you guys, I can't believe it, but we have been out and about all day, and my hair has stayed straight. So it was just that uh, John Frieda Frizzies hair serum. And I'll link the exact name of the product in the space below. Put a little bit of that on my hair after I washed it. And then I blow dried it. And after I blow dried it straight with a big round brush, then I used a flat iron on it. And it's just, I mean, it hasn't even gotten remotely curly. And we were down by the water today and everything. So pretty amazing thing for a girl whose hair just goes crazy frizzy normally. So we just happened to notice, we were looking out the window and happened to notice that there's this big old group of ducks. Hopefully you guys will be able to see these when I get out here. You see all those ducks? They're way, way, way out there. And they're kind of just in this big long line. And my brother, oh my gosh, it goes way down here. Oh my gosh. My brother said he hadn't seen this before. It's just a huge long line of ducks. And look at that pretty sunset we're getting. Now we've got a whole bunch of birds that are flying. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at all these birds. God, it's really high right now. This is crazy. There are just thousands and thousands of birds. So this is what we wake up to every morning. I should say this is what my brother wakes up to every morning. Absolutely beautiful. You said the wind's blowing the other direction today, John? Yeah, get a flag. Oh, uh, yeah. It's um, supposed to be warmer today. It's supposed to get warmer every day that we're here, leaving the nicest days to Saturday and Sunday. There's my sweet husband standing out on the deck, looking at the water. the Benoit Hotel and it's right by all these sailboats being docked. I thought we'd just sit down and relax in the sun. It's the first day since we've been here where it feels very nice and warm out. We need to thaw out. Hi 
you guys. It's Saturday morning. The weather is uh, getting warmer every day we're here. Right now, let's see, I don't even know what time it is. It's like 8, 8.30. And it is 57 degrees. It feels a little cool, but you know, definitely it's 17 in Flagstaff right now. So this is, this is really nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do six miles today. It really kind of depends because I'm gonna walk down this road called, called Edgewater and I don't want to get myself like twisting and turning back into neighborhoods. So I'm just gonna get to that road, walk down as far as I need to, to hit about three miles, maybe a little less and then turn around and come back. Uh, I think today, at some point, we're going to um, get on my brother's boat and he was going to take us on the boat over to, a, there's a, a restaurant on the beach, on Clearwater Beach, and they have a dock outside the restaurant and so you just kind of motor up to that place, which I, he thought it would be fun to take us. But my sister-in-law, I didn't, I haven't seen her yet this morning. She went to bed last night and was not feeling good, like she was coming down with a cold, so that's probably gonna determine how her day goes, too. Um, I was feeling a little bit of a top of the throat thing going on last night, so I thought, oh shoot, am I coming down with it, too? But um, I feel a little stuffy this morning, but I don't feel sick, so hopefully I can bypass that. It made me think I wish I had brought my essential oils with me, as if I had brought my thieves, lemon and peppermint, I could have made my immune tea that I always make when I feel like I'm on the edge of coming down with something that always takes care of it. But I didn't think about that. I need to put that on my master packing list so I, because the bottles are really teeny and so they could definitely make it through security. So I'm going to have to do that in the future. But um, got to see, I'll pop in some pictures for you here, but got to see Monica at day camp, of course, on the, to the place where she goes uh, for kenneling. They put pictures up of the animals that are boarded with them and that participate in day camp. And there have been some cute ones of Monica. So she's clearly having a good time. I talked to a guy on the phone the other day. I called him over there because, and then, then he commented, he just said, Boston Terriers are usually so wired when they're being boarded. And he goes, but she is the most chill Boston Terrier I have ever met. So that was um, nice to hear that she's, she's uh, relaxed there and having a good time. Oh my gosh, are those real? No, did you see those birds there on the pavement here? Okay, so I was thinking that those were fake, but they're not that but one of them just turned its head it's so strange I don't even know what kind of birds those are yeah they're, turn, they're moving a little bit so weird yeah yesterday we were in st petersburg and that was that was fun just kind of a little trendy area of town and then we came back and last night we just kind of hung out and watched tv and um, i like that kind of thing you know at first when we were very first uh, planning our trip out here, my brother and sister-in-law were trying to think of every possible thing for us to do. Go to the aquarium, go to the arboretum, go to this, go to this festival, go to... And I just said to them, listen, you know, that stuff's great and we would love to do some things like that, but we really are just coming out here to see you. So. Don't feel like you have to have every single second jam-packed for us because I, I really don't like a vacation where you come back and you need a vacation from your vacation, you know, to, to recover from your vacation. And so, you know, it's been good. We've done like one little thing every day. We've eaten out once every day. And so we've had some really good food and just it's been enjoyable to check things out and not just feeling totally exhausted so it's been a great time I'm not even sure what we're doing today probably depend on how my sister-in-law feels so 
this is the view I have on my for most of my walk. Now this road is a fairly busy road, so it's not like it's peaceful and serene. But is that a heron? He's walking through the water looking for fish. Anyway, this is absolutely beautiful. Ducks. Must be a super shallow area there. So this is my sister-in-law, Trisha, and and we're getting pedicures today. So right now I'm in the massage chair. It's making me vibrate. <laughs> anyway, here are my pretty toenails. It was nice. They gave us an extra an extra long massage, like five minutes longer, which I love. I think that's the best part of a pedicure, but now my toes look all pretty. Okay, so I have to show you, um, my sister-in-law and I, after we got pedicures, went over to this little store near the beach and I bought a couple of shirts. One of them is this t-shirt here. It's kind of gray um, with poppies on it. So that's so adorable. And then the other one I got is this long sleeve t-shirt. It's very soft, not very heavy, but I love it. Baby, it's cold outside. And then life, life is good. I like those, those, uh, t-shirts. So I thought this would be perfect. What I'm wearing currently, it, um, you know, it's appropriate for Florida now. And then this will be appropriate for when I go home. Okay, we are getting ready to get on the boat and we're heading over to the yacht club for a late lunch or early dinner, it something like that. Nice. Yes, yeah. So anyway, <laughs> I'm excited. They, oh, they have good wings? Half price wings. Oh, half price wings. Anyway, so I'm excited that we're, we're going to drive over to this place on a boat. As you guys know, I'm not a big fan of meat, but chicken wings, if they're cooked the right way, are a bit of a weakness. I think that's what we're going to be having here um, at, this, at the Yacht Club. So we have about an hour before we have to move the boat to another place because where we parked is actually somebody, somebody reserved the spot and so that person's supposed to show up in about an hour. So we'll probably either go by then or we'll just move the boat somewhere else. No. Agua fria, cold water. Hour in there, it's not cold. No. <laughs> So the guys are on the boat right now. They they dropped us off at the dock, but they're looking for an anchor. There was a boat that washed up on the seawall a couple weeks ago or last week, and um, anyway, it lost an anchor, and so there's a big long line in the water, and so they're trying to 
I'm trying to see if they can find it, but I think they should have done this earlier today because now it's as it's getting darker, it's making it harder to see where even the line is, let alone the anchor. They figure if they can get the rope, which is sort of sprawling across the floor of the ocean, that they can then find the anchor and pull it. Okay, you guys, I wanted you to see what happened. So my hair is not frizzing, but it is curly. So we were out on the boat and that really affected my hair, but that frizzies serum that I'm using made it turn to curls instead of frizz. So I'm very happy if you live someplace with high humidity and you have curly hair, I will link the product in the space below for you. Hi you guys, it is Sunday. This is our last day here. Our flight leaves uh, this afternoon at 5.15. And um, right now we are getting on the boat again and heading over to a place, a resort place that has a really nice Sunday brunch. I went ahead and let my hair kind of do the curly thing. I used that serum and then I uh, kind of flat ironed it a little and then used a curling iron and so it's going to curl up more with the sea air. So I figured why well, try to go with something straight but at least it's not frizzing with that serum. So anyway, I'm kind of sad it's our last day but, but we're excited to, um, you know, at least not be rushing to the airport right now and we can just we can just enjoy our our day together we're also going to go over to us as a yogurt place called menchie's my brother and his wife own one and so they're going to take us over to their store so we can check that out we'll be doing that on our way to the airport this afternoon here's john driving the boat that's my boat <laughs> Brunch was wonderful, and uh, now it's time to go. It's almost 2.15, and we are heading over. Oh, you can see there's the Menchie's trailer. They have a shop. So we're leaving now, heading over to Menchie's to get to see their store and get a little snack, and then we're going to head to the airport. Our flight leaves at 5.30. Hi, guys. So the trip is over. We got home last night. Uh, our flight got in early, so we were... We were back at the airport before 11.30, and we were in bed by, probably by 12.15. And so right now, look at that. The, the recycled trash cans in our parking garage are totally overflowing. Anyway, um, we're on our way, it's 7.30 in the morning, we're on our way over to get Monica. She's, we miss her. <laughs> we don't want her to stay over at the kennel any longer and she has to and she loves it but we miss her so anyway thanks for watching the vlog you guys hope you enjoyed it